Hello YouTube and Lego fans and welcome to a, another Lego set review. So this is for a Hero Factory set as you can see here. So this is the Bruiser. This is actually now discontinued and showing as sold out on the Lego store online. Um, reason I got this was one, I like the look of it and two, it was on 50% clearance. So. A few of you might have got these as they were being cleared out of the stores and off the shelf. So I thought I'd uh, share this review with you guys. Okay, so like I said, this is a Lego Hero Factory. This is the Bruiser. It's set 44005. It's for ages 7 to 14. And comes with a small piece count of 62 pieces. Albeit that most of the pieces are quite large pieces. Okay, guys, first thing to share with you is the actual packaging it comes in. It is this sort of plasticky bag it's just a bag and you snip the top of it and then it has got a um, grip seal shutter on it so you can reuse um, the bag so you can see the front of it there um, that's obviously the rear of the bag there now I'm new to these sets this is the first one I ever got and it comes with a small piece which I'll show you which has a code on it which you can use the code for an online game so that's the instruction manual. If we go to the rear instruction manual, it says there. So it's plus 600 game points. And it's this little tiny piece, which I will show you in a second. Okay, guys, so there we go. There's our first shot of our bruiser from the Lego Hero Factory. So I'm just going to give you a 360 tour to start with. So as we spin round, you can start to see some of the features and indeed some of those large pieces that are used to uh, build this particular set, the Bruiser. Um, yeah, I must say I do like the look of them. Again, looks pretty mean. It's a pretty mean looking set. So, okay guys, that's our first 360 view. Okay guys, so the story behind these is the evil brains are attacking the galaxy and this one, it's particular, this is the rock giant um, and he's been transformed into the wild-eyed wild beast, the bruiser. So underneath his face piece there is Halbert and I'll show you this in a second, there is the orange evil brain which has obviously transformed him into the bruiser from the rock giant okay guys let's uh, now take a closer look at this set okay so we're just going to go off the tripod so again apologies for the camera shake but i thought this was the best way to uh show you some of that detail and again some pretty impressive molds um to create these figures on these Lego Hero Factory sets, and obviously this particular one being the Bruiser. Okay, so that piece there is a printed piece, there are no stickers. Okay, so let's just spin this around. Have that side view. Now we can start to see the evil orange brain, which is a Taken over the rock giant. Again, down. Round to the other side, and again, some of these large pieces which make up the detailing um, on this particular set. So, this does have um, a function on it, and it is this huge fist piece here. So, to operate that, there's this piece here and we just push this down and you will see that will operate and move that fist piece there so if I just spin this round so you can see a shot of it from that side as I pull that down that obviously um, moves that fist up and down so you get the gist of it there okay guys next uh, piece to show you is going to be the Evil Orange Brain, um, which like I said it's taken over the Rock Giant, so that's underneath the um, Rock Face piece there, so this pulls off. Like so. 
you can see that in there. That has just got we get that focus in. Okay, that has got a Technic piece in there. Finally getting it to focus in, which is what just attaches it to it. And then we can see that shot there, and at the top here you can see the evil orange brain. Okay guys, so now if we spin that round, you can see there how that piece looks. And round to the other side. So down at the bottom end, and again this just fits, fits into this Technic piece down the bottom, so we just pull that out. Like so, you can see that they're now loose, and then up the top again, it just slots in again to the top. So that should just simply lift off there. He says simply, but it's in there quite hard actually. Oh, I mean, that isn't there hard. Okay, finally got it off. Let's try and stand our bruiser up now. Okay, so there we can see. I'm not doing much good on the focus today, so apologies. There is a Technic piece in there. Get some light. There, there's a Technic piece there, which you can see, which is obviously what slots into the top of the head. Um, and there obviously we can get a better look at that evil orange brain piece and obviously it is a mould so all of this does obviously move around that's the only bit of plastic piece in there or solid plastic piece um, is that piece there okay so that's the evil orange brain Okay guys, final thing to point out with this set really is just how manoeuvrable it is. Absolutely fully poseable. Um, it's made um, with, like I said, a lot of large pieces, but they're all made on ball joints. Pretty much everywhere there's a ball joint on this, so you can put this in absolute multiple um, positions. I mean, everything literally moves around on it, um, which we can see there. Legs, knees, you can do pretty much anything you want with this absolutely uh great for um i guess putting it into a position putting it into a certain pose and having it on display you can uh as you can see there you can do a lot with this so very good so there we can see a bit of a new pose there actually looks quite evil actually keep it like that um so there we go guys um that's pretty much it for my review of this set Okay guys, that's it, that's it all done. So that was the Bruiser from the Lego Hero Factory range, set 44005. Like I said, this is now discontinued. Um, it is being cleared now. It's certainly shown as sold out online on the Lego store. It might still be some sets in store, um, or obviously through other retailers. Uh, like I said, I got this for 50% off, so I actually paid oh, £4.99, um, I believe it was, which I think is a great deal um, for the set. I personally do like it um, for display purposes for myself being an A4. I think it does look, as you can see there, pretty um, pretty mean looking. Um, anyway, guys, that's it. Please do go ahead. If you've appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up for me, please. That really does help me. Um, leave me any comments, feedback, etc. down in the comments section. If you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers.